expected look at current affairs around the world. I am Arma Marcus. In a resolute stance against human trafficking, the chairman and CEO of Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Dabari Uwewa, visited Ghana to address the issue of Nigerian girls trafficked on their de guise of sales girls. Well, uh, the press briefing which held in Abuja unveiled a concerted effort to combat modern day slavery with key stakeholders advocating for the war against human traffickers. Let's listen in. For human capital development, you've sent these children, and I hope that this is the beginning of um, a prosperous and better life for them. So, but I hope that as we do this, and as I'm telling you, we need to have a permanent solution. I know that some time ago, some were also rescued in bits and pieces, but what can be the permanent solution to this trafficking thing? And I believe that, again, working together, we can achieve it. And we must declare a war against human trafficking in Nigeria. It's, 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 it's an epidemic. And our young girls are being destroyed. So we have to work together and declare this war against trafficking of our girls, our children, and be determined that every trafficker working out there must be arrested. Our team went and left ambush within the area they bring them and bring them. Fortunately, we got one, two, three that led us to where we want to go. Our Excellency, by the grace of God, we went there. We recovered and we were able to, uh, got, get, we got about 10 and grand girls in that house. And uh, after that, the next day we went for operation again and we got one that will be leading us to other ones. Our Excellency, these children, which when by the time you meet them and speak to them, they are less than 15, 16 years old. They were made to take oath. They were taken to a malam. To the extent, Her Excellency, we have um, part of their body, these things, they have the heads, other things that were taken from them, and they were forced to take oath. They are traumatized. Yeah, in Ghana. Yeah, in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. That, that they took oath. Yeah, and you, you guys are very lucky. Uh, <laughs> you have a, a, a fantastic governor, a wonderful, and his wife is also wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and for this one from Plato, the governor called me yesterday, and I'm going to call the Commissioner for Women and Affairs, and she's going to speak with you on a video call once I'm done. So, like uh, both of them have said, this is the beginning, by the grace of God, of greater things in your life. Amen. Whoever did this to you will not prosecute. Amen. Amen. The traffickers will be shamed. Amen. And we have said today we will declare a war against human trafficking. Amen. We can't afford, yes. Look at you beautiful girls. I mean, your lives will only be better. Nobody will destroy your lives. Okay? So, like they said, Nigeria cares for you. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is so happy that this is happening and you can count on all the support. But the most important thing is that traffickers have to be stopped. You know, you didn't come here to do prostitution. They told you you were going to do sales girl or work or something and they lied to you. So you are not guilty of anything. That's what I'm saying. Like Madame said, this is the time for you. I want to see you in a few years time. Say, Honorable, do you remember me? Now, I'm the governor of Imo State. Well, joining us this morning is Mr. Abdul Rahman, Mr. Uh, Mr. Abdul Rahman Balogun. He is the Director of Media, Public Relations and Protocols Unit, NITCAM Abuja. Hello, Mr. Balogun. Thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. Okay, so could you elaborate on the circumstances surrounding the trafficking of these Nigerian girls to Ghana, particularly under the deceptive guise of sales girls? Are there other guises that people use to, you know, deceive girls and take them away? Oh, thank you. Uh, that's part of our advocacy. That has been the trend. Uh, they will come over a relative, in most cases, a relative or an agent, who say they are taking them to this also country as says get or English to child which is a non uh, English speaking country uh and then on getting there they will take over their document their passport and traveling document they put take possession of it so that they won't be able to escape I will pay a huge sum of money to 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 be trafficked into slavery and uh, this has been going on for quite some time. 
I will be warning people when people get on uh, 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 believing in such story. Uh, and again, this one happened uh, last week. So it's very sad. But thank God they have been rescued. Uh, thank God the uh, the agent or the trafficker have been arrested. And uh, uh, very soon, uh, all the tangers eight from Imo State. Those eight from Imo State, eight girls, they are from all local government. Why two are from a part of state? They, be, they, they have been rescued and they will be brought back to the country. Mm. So what specific measures do, does NEEDCOM plan to implement to prevent such incidents of human trafficking in the future and also to ensure the safety of Nigerians in the diaspora? Well, actually, you have to know that the uh, issue of uh, human trafficking is not within our mandate. Okay. The human trafficking belongs to NAPTI. Uh, they are in charge of uh, this uh, trafficking business. And, uh, you know, a definition of a diaspora is somebody who has stayed outside the country for one year. So this issue is just an accidental one. It's not even within our, our portfolio. But then, they keep on calling on us to assist uh, because we have carried out several rescue operations like that in the past. So what we do, there's a lot of advocacy. Another one is being planned now. We have quarterly series lecture. Quarterly series lecture that uh, we do with some other stakeholders. We are having one in July that has to do with uh, students. Uh, traveling abroad so that they know their responsibility, their duty, and uh, uh, what they needed to do if they really want to travel abroad. So all these things, we normally do in terms of advocacy. Uh, this program that we are doing is part of it to get them enlightened and to tell them that don't fall a victim. These people that are you, there are some red flag that you see. Anytime you want to travel and you are being exploited, they are saying this one you don't need it, this one you don't need that. They are taking your passport from you. Know that there is a danger in such in such a, a journey. Look at the case of this girl. Even the position they went to do there, the money they made there, they are collecting it from there. They collected it from there. So what is what what, what is it in it for them? So we, we, we do want that. We do collaborate. Hello, Mr. Balogun. We can have that program together uh, to educate the majority of. Okay. So I want to ask what proactive measures should individuals and communities undertake you know, to prevent potential trafficking situations as this one? Yes. Uh, each. Each individual, the community, has a responsibility. Uh, there was a time, you know, there was a time that uh, uh, this issue of uh, trafficking prostitution is common with a particular community in Nigeria. We move into that community to sensitize them to the extent that the, the king in that community placed a curse on whoever family that is sending. Uh, the guests on uh, such an uh, error, he, he placed a cost, and this thing gradually reduces uh, such thing. And then we equally uh, advise them that uh, this issue of uh, naming and shame, you know, at times we want to cover the identity of those people who are involved. But now we name them, we, we name them, we name the state, we name the village that you come from. So that uh, uh, the community uh, will feel somehow, and then we want to guide against such thing in the future. Mm. And then, uh, if it is individual, your family's name, you have done it in the name of your family. So these are some of the efforts that we do, apart from counseling. That this thing, they should talk in it. 
Okay. So, Mr. Balagun, lastly, before we let you go, what other intervention programs uh, is NITCOM embarking on at the moment, aside this particular drive? The intervention program we are doing is uh, 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 visiting, getting all the details. You know, we have uh, NIDO, uh, Nigerian Diaspora Organization, in some of these countries. Uh, because this operation was successful because of the role played by NIDO in Ghana. The role played by NIDO in Ghana. We collaborate with them. They are one of our stakeholders. It's like a blowing with whistleblower. When they see things of that nature, they alert us immediately. We collaborate with them. Of course, the NAPTI, they have their people all over. Uh, we get information from them. If we get information first, we inform them, and then we collaborate. Of course, we have our embassy or high commission, as the case may be, uh, that, uh, that, the, that are the people on ground. So the, they are the very first contact. So we get them involved, and then they link up with the security agencies. So this is the way we've been collaborating, and then uh, keep on sensitizing, and then uh, having, uh, and you know, anytime Mr. President travel to any country, we do have what we call town hall meetings. At this time, all meeting um, issues that are affecting the diaspora or Nigerians living in that place are totally out of Okay. Mr. Balagun, thank you so much for coming on the program today. We really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much. All right. We've been speaking with Mr. Abdul Rahman Balogun. He is the Director of Media and Public Relations of the Protocol Unit NITCAM, which is here in Abuja. Now, all this is in a resolute stance against human trafficking as the CEO and Chairman of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NITCAM, well, uh, has visited Ghana to address the issue of Nigerian girls trafficked under the guise of sales girls.